The closest thing I have is Excedrin PM. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't even have a sleeping pill, and I never even took that. I just, it just feels, you know, I usually can sleep anytime, anywhere, and it's good. But I really fucked it up this past weekend. We did that gig at Soul Joel's in Pennsylvania, and uh, up late, and then up early, and then sleeping kind of in the car, and then nap when I got home at 10 a.m. So then I woke up at 9 p.m. Oh, right. It just fucked everything so up. So how did that go? It was good. Yeah. How yeah. did you like Scary Perry? It, well, he is scary, and he is Perry. <laughs> he is an odd fish. It's a very acquired taste. Oh, yes. I feel like a sommelier asking about some yes. $700 bottle of... Yeah, liquid filth. <laughs> He, uh, oh, what is this? Excuse me, Mr. Caravello. Oh, there he is. is uh, do you have any comments about uh, wearing blackface on Kumia's show? <laughs> what, are you, what are you bothering me for? Get out of here. You're a celebrity, sir. So, yeah, okay. You're on the Anthony Kumia show and you're wearing blackface. It didn't go well it for you. It was not blackface. It was not blackface. Let me guarantee it was not blackface. It was a tan. It's a very it dark a tan. Dark, 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 dark tan. It sure is. Well, I mean, dark tan face. is blackface. Are you worried that Mr. Kumia is going to get in trouble for having Again. you on? Again. Again. <laughs> Not blackface. Dark, dark, dark tan. It was it was dressed as a dark tan. I love his hands. Not blackface. He's got oh, like yeah. these. You think of blackface? Get the fuck out of here. Well, I mean, it's okay. Uh, Ted Danson got away with it. I think you can, too. No, I think he's I still got the uh, black tan hands. stuff on his hands. Dark tan. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's rubbing off. Are you sure you packed black that all yourself and didn't have the Taliban? <laughs> I guess black hands isn't as bad as black face, but... Forgot about yeah, his yeah. floppy he does gorilla hands. floppy hand thing. It's like he had a hand transplant and they made the hands too big. Yeah. <laughs> just these big ape gestures. Dude, he's fucking, uh, he's funny. He's a weird guy. It, it's like uh, professional wrestling and, and it's, uh, it's yeah. whatever it is. And then he gets up on stage and the people love him and they're cheering for him. And he's up there for over an hour. And I was at the bar at that point, way in the back of uh -huh. Soul Joel's, and uh, some of the fans are around and taking pictures and talking, drinking and shit. And uh, a few of the people are coming up and going, dude, I don't get that. I just don't get it. And I go, yeah, you know, it's, it's what it is. It's wrong to punch down. The thing about Perry, you got to understand, is he's a fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. He's a piece of shit. He would happily watch you drown. Yeah, yeah. If there was a Twix bar in his hand. Uh huh. He'd be like, sorry. So it's okay to abuse him. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, this isn't a handicapped little sweet old man. This right, is right. Like a fucking monster. He's a, a piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it, I, I, a lot of people think he's in on it. They don't understand to what degree. Right, right. That's just it. I don't know. That's why I was getting this professional wrestling angle, but then I realized, no, he's really that no, guy. He's wrestling. He's like, yeah. Yeah, he, he gets hurt in the ring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got his posse with him. And, you know, I've seen his show where he's in that little uh, apartment uh, yelling and people deliver shit to him that he hates. And What is uh, it? 7722 Reseda Boulevard? Yeah. I've already forgot yeah, the address. Yeah, his, his address is given out there, and, and people deliver things to his house. Well, someone paid him $300 to get a deep, deep, dark tan. Oh, Jersey is that Shore. why he had yeah. the deep, dark tan on my show? <laughs> yes. Yeah, he came in. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it looked like he was glowing. Like, like it was such a sheen that the green was showing up on it, on his face. <laughs> I thought he had green on his face at first. It was weird, right? Because you know how black can be reflective yeah, yeah, of, course. of uh, green. And, uh, yeah, that's it was the weirdest thing. And he sat down, and we just talked. I, I acknowledged it quickly. Like, is what what's going on? And he just never said anything about it. I saw one uh, live stream he was doing where he was really, he looked really yeah, wet. There he oh, is. I got to watch this. I you can't, can't look. It oh, my. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Yeah. I haven't watched this yet. He's in blackface. <laughs> Oh my God, that is way it was darker so than it looked in the pictures. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my it's God. A sweep. Mm -hmm. My favorite Perry moment, and it changes over time, was when the old crew that used to marionette him, Don and <laughs> marionette, Mo, yeah. They said, uh, "Perry, you missed this important meeting with a director. who's going to get you in a in a Quentin Tarantino film." Oh wow. What the fuck? And he's like, "I had to go to my AA thing. It was Simon Le Bon was singing." 
And he's like, what the f- well, th- that's not a good enough excuse. You have to call the director who was, um, what's his name there? Oh, my God. All my Perry references are dying of old age. But he's he's this arist- British aristocrat who funds all of, all of Hollywood. Okay. F- fake guy. Fake guy, right. And he goes, you have to call him Quincy Adams. And you have to call him and explain. Quincy. Like, say we're raped. And he'll, forg- he'll forgive you missing the appointment. Oh, okay. That's rape. a good excuse. Like, <sighs> and argue it. All right. So he goes, yeah, I was at this thing. Simon Le Bon was singing. And he talks like Marge Simpson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. He's got the high. And this guy put a, put a bottle in my ass. And I didn't want to squeeze, but I squoze. <laughs> and it broke. I didn't want to squeeze, but I squoze. But I squoze, and it broke in his ass. And <laughs> Yeah. So obviously intense bleeding. You could just get a simple rape story. <laughs> yeah, why? Why did he have to? You know how hard you have to squoze? Oh, there's no way the human a Coke body. bottle. I defy never, anyone. Never. First of all, if you could put a bottle up your ass, you don't have the muscular integrity anymore <laughs> to break it. It's self defeating. <laughs> It contradicts it. Right, right. It's yeah. going to be the loosest, most <laughs> unable to squoze asshole. <laughs> now, if you have a fucking tight, muscular yeah. asshole, oh. you'll never get the bottle in there in the first place. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not buying that. Um, I wouldn't buy it if I was the uh, director or whatever it was, financier. Uh, it's a, yeah. It's a tw- I think it started in uh, 2000. Really? Yeah, it's a quarter century prank. Holy shit. Of endless abuse. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, I, I see. He likes telling stories about like Hollywood and everything. He's almost like, uh, he's got a little bit of that Jimmy character, uh, 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 Doug Bell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little Doug yeah, Bell. He has got so I was with the, because he brought up, he, we were talking about something with the Sopranos, and he goes, yeah, uh, you know. I think Jimmy Gandolfini or something like you just Jimmy Gandolfini. You wouldn't say that. Have you seen Windy City Heat? Uh, no. Oh, I know it's his. I know what it's. It is. I and highly I, recommend. I, it. I will have to watch it. Yeah, you're in that, right? No, no. Oh, which one? Which I one? discovered him through Windy City. Heat. Oh, okay. But I have I've had some um, problems with yeah. him. I yeah. paid him a lot of money to promote my film. Uh, First kiss last yesterday. Oh, okay. My romantic comedy. Rom-com, yeah. And uh, he didn't promote it, so I w- w- challenged him to a fight to get my money back. Yeah, yeah. $50 uh, at a, a screening of Windy City Heat, 10-year yeah. anniversary. I showed up in L.A. to get my money and uh, jumped him on stage. He kicked me down the stairs. Oh, wow. Yeah, he had been practicing leg uh, lifts. Oh, so, he so his legs powerful. are incredibly strong. He did like a uh, We Are Sparta thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. Kicked you into the hole. I went flying backwards oh, off the stage. Jesus. And I'd been training for months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, with the uh, the uh, bankruptcy uh, b- bankruptcy of Vice, you think there's any way to maybe get that film out? It, maybe yes. Maybe they'll sell it yes, now at I a very discounted is. rate or... well. I'll tell you what, 20th Century Fox said to me, look, I we're not I wouldn't give you this for three billion dollars. Because I was getting investors to to pitch in. To buy it. And I think it was up to like eight hundred grand. Yeah. They wow. thought they would make at least eight hundred grand. Sure. Ten dollar a view thing. Oh man, you put that up on a website, that thing is fucking selling. Do it like Louis C.K. does with shit. It's really good. It's fucking hilarious. I know. I was watching and it's, it. It's and- it's not like this isn't like a, a it, it's like Animal House, like there's yeah. seventy amazing sketches, right? Like it's, black prostitutes, and yes, yes, car crashes, and like it's it's and exciting. it's historical, and it's it, facts. it tells a story. It's facts. <laughs> the guy at 20th Century Fox said to one of the investors, he goes, "I'll be honest, if you gave me three billion dollars, I wouldn't give this to you." He goes, and "Wait," was the- but his last words were, "Wait till they're bankrupt." Mm. Dude, you ever hear of those films? They go, it was made uh, 10 years ago, and it sat on a shelf, and then somebody found it and did some, and then it becomes this thing, and people watch it and go, oh, wait, this was from that many years ago? Yeah, because they kept it from, uh, Day the kept it from the public. 